everyone, my name is Carla Somheim and I want to welcome you to Kids Art Week 2018. This week we're going to do a lot of fun projects surround, uh, with animals as our theme. And um, some are easier than others and I just want to encourage you to remember that this is for fun and you, anything that you make will be wonderful um, and I promise you that. Um, each day I will show you a sample of what we're going to work on and then I'll give you a list of the supplies you'll need for that day and then I'll show you how to do it. And then if you are, um, would like to, you can share it on our Facebook group and we can all see what everyone's doing. Um, I really look forward to seeing your art this year. So for today's project we're going to work on a, um, a, some birds and the project is called Put a Beak on It. And what we're going to do is we're going to take make ourselves some watercolor blob shapes. These are random shapes, um, just sort of, they're blobby. That's why I call them blob shapes. And from there, we're gonna um, put beaks on them and maybe add a little coloring and shading to make some birds. So there's one sample and here's another sample. And I really love this assignment because blob shapes, they're so fun to work with. Um, it's amazing. There's no mistakes. You can put a beak anywhere you want on any of these blobs and it'll end up looking like a bird. And um, blob shapes can be found um, on, in sidewalk cracks or water stains on the floor or rock shapes or leaf shapes, but you can also make them. So working with blob shapes reminds us that there's no right or wrong way to do art. Art is meant to um, be fun and help you figure out what it is that you like and what you like to make and what you like to do. So um, let's get started for today. What you're going to need is some watercolor paper and this is um, something that you could use all week if you wanted to on all the projects. It's Canson extra large watercolor paper, but any kind of thick paper that will take watercolor will work. Um, you'll also need some watercolors. And this is a set I bought at a, a big store like Target and um, any kind of set of watercolors will work. You'd also need some markers. And I recommend that you use any markers that you, you have. This um, happens to be the Crayola brand very inexpensive. And then also some colored pencils. And then I want to just talk a little bit about brushes. Now this is the brush that came with the watercolor set and that brush is going to be a frustrating brush for this project and probably any project um, that we do this week. So I'm going to put that aside and pull out a bigger brush that I got. And the reason I like this brush is it holds a lot of water and we're going to use a lot of water with our watercolors. Um, this is a round brush or you can also use a big flat brush. Um, you also will need a pencil, some water, and a paper towel. So let's get started. I need my watercolor paper, watercolors, and I'm going to use this big round brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is get some water onto my plastic palette here. This usually is either the lid of your watercolor set or it might even be part of your watercolor set. So I've, I've given myself lots of water. And then now I'm going to go in here and get some color in there. And it's better to mix more water or more paint than less. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit more. And then also it doesn't have to be really dark because we're going to be adding colored pencils and markers to it. I think this will work. So the first thing you do is just put a lot of watercolor in a big pool. One, two, any shape, three. And I'm not really painting, I'm more like dabbing on a lot of um, water. And then from here you can see these big pools of paint. Go ahead and tilt your paper and let it drip to each other and off the page. This will end up looking like branches. If you get this far and it stops dripping, you can grab a little bit more paint. And keep going. Okay. 
So my next job is to patiently wait for this to, to dry. It'll take about 10 minutes. So my watercolor is dry now, and I just want to tell you again that it might take a little bit for it to dry. So that is the time maybe to go and um, either make another one. You can make two or three of those. Um, and then also go play or read a book or something while it dries, because you really want it to be dry for this next part. So I'm going to grab my pencil and decide where I want to put the eyes and the beaks. Um, I'll start with this guy. And I'm looking at him, and I, I don't know, it's, it's already a him to me. This seems like it would be a fun tail. And then maybe it's leg or something over here. So I am going to add a beak right here. And maybe an eye right here. Now, if I had decided to do something different, it would probably work almost as well. Um, I'm going to look over here and... Gosh, he could be flying with his two legs out. Um, or this could end up being a beak, but I'm going to go ahead and just see what happens if I put a beak right there. Oh, that's funny. And this guy, I think I'll have him go down. Beak. And maybe we're seeing sort of the top of him more. And remember, these are crazy imaginary birds. They're not supposed to look like real birds. They're supposed to look like blob birds. Okay, so the next step is to take a marker or a colored pencil and start to add some um, feathers or, let's, let's start here. I'm gonna grab this marker. And I like to make feathers just little lines. That actually probably looks a little bit more like fur, but I'm going to go ahead and make his tail kind of a little bit bushier. So the blob shape is really um, a guide. You can do whatever you want once it's your piece of art, so you can finish it however you want. I'm going to go ahead and color in my beak here. I'm going to pick a different color. Maybe I'll do um, a blue colored pencil. What's fun about colored pencils and markers is um, they can be layered on top of each other. So for example, if I want, I can take this um, pink marker and put it on top of the blue and then it becomes a different color. So that is the first, the first job, is to start adding um, feathers, and maybe you could even add details such as a wing or whatever. The next thing you're going to do is add some shading. And so we're going to pretend that the sun is over here in this corner. which means that it's going to be a little bit darker underneath on, on the areas of the bird that's away from the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out his body here and then just add a little bit of shading with my pencil. And what's nice about this mechanical pencil, I'm using really a, a light, light marks, but you can take your finger and move it and it smears it out kind of nicely. So a little shading under the bodies or the beaks. And then also a place that birds or anybody has shading are places where things are joined together like, or um, there's weird things like our eyes. There's usually shading around our eyes. In this case, his beak might be in shadow. So I'm going to add a little shading around the eyes. And what that does is it helps draw your attention to the eyes as well, because the eyes have a lot of personality. Now I notice, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have not put in the pupils yet, and that's because I want to make sure that these birds 
are interacting with each other um, a little bit. So I'm going to have this bird look over here. So I'm going to put the pupil kind of toward the um, front there. And I'm going to have this guy looking down at this one. So he's, this pupil is going to go down at the bottom. And this guy, he's looking up at both of them. So he's got his uh, eyes way up. So once I do the eyes, the next thing I want to do is just make sure that the bodies are outlined. I think I'll start with pencil, but then I might add a little marker, especially since I added these wings in marker. But go ahead and do your outline of your bird. Um, and don't worry if it doesn't um, end up being exactly on the watercolor. This is something that... Um, kind of gives it a little bit more uh, personality if it's not quite, quite perfect. Here's his foot. This is going to be a branch. <laughs> and let's outline this body. I think this is going to be like his tail. And maybe some hair. And if you like it with just the pencil, go ahead and stop. If you don't, go ahead and keep going with markers. I think this one needed a little, a little bit more color. Um, don't forget that you can add something, like maybe this guy's wing is going to be way out there. And also, you can color the... Um, the trees and the branches, green or brown. You can, oops, <laughs> you can add, um, add your leaves if you want. This is your drawing. So I want you to have fun. I can't wait to see what you do. Um, remember, there's no wrong way to make these birds. Um, if you get the shading wrong, if you think you put it in the wrong place, don't worry because that probably is where there's a big dark mark on the bird's feathers. <laughs> so it really is fine, whatever you do. So have fun with your birds. I, I really can't wait to see what you do. Thank you so much.